For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks find, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Aspiring engineers and engineering students like me, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Karin Love Tiking, a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering student and also a vlogger. So for today's video, engineers, aspiring engineers, I'm gonna teach you on how to do like this. On how to center text these things here. As you can see, that is positioned at the center, right? look and there's a technique for that for you to know and how to and how to do like this kind of flat literary ah but littering but litter no lettering lettering tama ba ewan ko basta may technique kung paano to gagawin so for now we have here these things these are the things that we need. So first is that we have here a ruler. As you can see, there's a black mark there. It is because my name siya, pero for privacy, ba? We don't know if the person won't allow himself or herself to be ko an yang name dari. So I just put that black mark in there. So next is this mechanical pencil. So this is... 0 0.5 next is we have this eraser next is this scratch paper wherein you can compute something small computation maybe so the last part is this whole long size one paper so if you have seen my previous videos about this one we are using um long size one paper so it depends on your oh, sorry on your instructor and what things to use the back. Others use short size band paper or Oslo paper. So that's it. So because I don't have a technical pen, so I'll be using this mechanical pencil na lang. Because I don't have a technical pen. I think someone borrowed it. So now we have done with this a margin. I am using this mechanical pencil instead because I don't have a technical pencil. So right now, we need to get this scratch paper. For example, this is our um, bun paper. So we will put some margins there. So for example, we will be writing the word engineer here in our paper. So in order for us to center align text or yeah, put this text on the center of this bun paper is that we have a uh, very small computations for example uh, we are given the height by our teacher 40 millimeter i don't know if this is done by some i don't know if it's the same but our teacher gave us a ratio for if you have a height your width would be three-fifth of the height so our width would be 3 fifth multiply by 40 millimeter. So that would be 24 millimeters. Next is for the spacing. Uh, for our spacing, we shall need 1 fifth of the height. So 1 fifth times 40 millimeters, that would be 8 millimeters. So these are the dimensions of our letters for each letter. So the next thing is that we should count the how many letters are there in this word engineer. So let's count. One, two, three. Um, let's neglect the I because it doesn't get this width, which is 24 millimeter. So let's proceed again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven letters so 24 multiply by 7 so that would be 168 millimeters so for our spacing we have to um, count the spaces between the letters 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven spaces. So eight millimeters multiplied by seven is fifty-eight millimeters. And we will add that up one hundred sixty-eight millimeters plus fifty-six millimeters. That would equal to 224 so as you can see this whole space is here covered by this word engineer would cover 224 millimeters of the space in the band paper so the next thing to do is that we have to measure the mar uh, from the left margin to the right margin the space here in our band paper so that is equals to 310 millimeters so 310 millimeters minus the spaces i mean minus the space that the word engineer would be covered which is 224 86 millimeters so we have 86 millimeters but we have to divide this by two because we have a space here on the left space here on the right so we have to divide 86 millimeters by two so that would be 43 millimeters so 43 millimeters here on the left and 43 millimeters on the right so the next thing to do is that we will measure the dimension from the upper margin to the lower margin so that is equals to 100 156 and because we have a height for each letter which is 40 millimeters so we will minus 40 from 156 so we have 116 millimeters that would be divided into two because we have the upper space and the lower space so that would be 58 millimeters so 58 millimeters for the upper part and 58 millimeters for the lower part so now we have this dimension for the center 43 millimeters on the left 43 millimeters on the right and 58 millimeters at the top and 58 millimeters here at the bottom so right now as you can see this box here this box in the center would be the space that will be covered by the word engineer the next thing to do is that we will put some markings for each letter so because we know the width which is 24 so 24 then spacing 8 then for the letter n 24 then spacing then 24 for letter G then spacing and we know I won't cover any space at all so let's neglect that so after this spacing here we put another spacing which is eight millimeters then for the letter n 24 then spaces then 24 8 24 8 then 24 then we connect that and box it up we have here some boxes of letters for the letters i mean so one two three four five six seven and so we have to put a horizontal line here at the middle for the letter e so because i don't have a technical pen um let me find something that we could use the back so here so i'll just gonna use this pen this actually this is a coloring pen but let's be careful because this will easily ruin our drawing so actually guys if you could see here if you think that i made that straight line here e and these straight lines actually i'm using a ruler for that so here in our example for today we will use a ruler let's use the ruler for those straight lines this pen is not for drawing actually look at this um writing look at those marks Okay, we're almost done so this R is very very difficult I know this you know this curve lines for me that is the difficult ones so let's proceed to G let's use a mechanical pencil first 
before this colored pen gosh I'm not really good at curve lines look at this this isn't right look at those curves I mean look at those small zigzag lines that I made with this curve so that is for this video guys as you can see look I made this at the center the engineer word at the center so there's just a very small computation if you could analyze this those um, small computations then you're good to go that is the process and how I do this it would really take some time but as you can see that is worth it worth it guys as in just be careful when you're using your technical pen because you can't erase that so I hope you have learned something out from this video guys and if you do please do give this video a massive thumbs up if you do like this or if you don't like this can you just give it a little thumbs up here there yes, and if you have a video suggestion please do comment it down below and yeah see you on my next vlog by the way by the way by the way shout out to Vandolf Gold Channel shout out to you thank you for watching my videos and to those um, aspiring engineers like me who is watching my videos thank you very much for spending your time here in my channel and God bless everyone and stay safe everything will be fine soon just pray and trust have faith in him and we will be engineers soon right bye bye guys and See you on my next vlog.